Yes, they're in at three, making waves, transformations of radical functions. The student works 1A and 1B. Let's take a look at the next page. Getting started, a C change. A group of our students had the idea to use transformations of radical functions to create a logo for the radical surfing school. To start, the, they graph the function f of x equals the square root of x for x greater than equal to zero. Shift the copies of the curve to create the waves g of x, h of x, and k of x. One. What values in the transformation function form were changed to create these curves? Explain your reasoning. The C value was increased by four units each time to create each new curve. Two, do the graphs of g of x, h of x, and k of x have the same domain as f of x? Explain your reasoning. No, each time the function shifts four units to the right, the lower end of the domain increases by four units. Right, let's take a look at the next page. Activity 3.1, transformations of radical functions. Consider the transformation of the radical function f of x equals the square root of x graphed by the R students in the previous activity. The teacher corrected g of x, h of x is correct, and the teacher corrected k of x. State the domain or range of the corrected g of x function. State the domain or range of the corrected h of x function. State the domain or range of the corrected k of x function. When g of x equals f, x, minus 4, that's equal to the square root of x minus 4. The domain is x greater than equal to 4, and the range is y greater than equal to 0. When h of x equals f of x minus 8, equals the square root of x minus 8, the domain is x greater than equal to 8, and the range is y greater than equal to 0. When k of x equals f parentheses x minus 12, equals the square root of x minus 12, the domain is x greater than equal to 12, and the range is y greater than equal to 0. The students decide that reflecting each curve, g of x, h of x, and a of x, across the respective line where x equals c will make them look more like waves crashing on the beach. 2. Consider the graph of the reflections. Graph the resulting functions f prime of x, g prime of x, h prime of x, and k prime of x. Write each function first in terms of the transformation of f of x, g of x, h of x, and k of x, and then in terms of x. Finally, state the domain or range of each. Okay? So f prime of x equals f parentheses of negative x, which equals the square root of negative x. So let's go ahead and graph that in Desmos. Okay, so we have a point at 0, 0, and it looks like at point at negative 4, Oh, there, negative 4, 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph those points. So 0, 0, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 2. Now, the domain is x less than or equal to 0, and the range is y greater than or equal to 0. All right, let's take a look at g prime of x. So that equals negative x, which equals negative parentheses of x minus 4, which equals the square root of negative x plus 4. Right, let's go ahead and graph that. All right, so we have a point at 4, 0, and 0, 2. So let's go ahead and use those points to graph our curve. So 4, 0, and 0, 1, 2. All right, now the domain is x less than or equal to 4, y greater than or equal to 0. Right, let's take a look at the next 
So h prime of x is h of negative x, which equals square root of negative parentheses x minus 8, which equals the square root of negative x plus 8. All right, let's go ahead and graph that. All right, so we have a point at 8, 0. And let's see if we can find another point that's good. Four two. Okay, so let's use those points. So eight zero six seven eight and four one two. All right. So the domain is x less than or equal to eight. And range is y greater than or equal to 0. And the last one, k of prime of x is k of principle of negative x, which equals the square root of negative x minus 12, which equals the square root of negative x plus 12. So let's go ahead and graph that. I'll zoom out here. Point, good point here. Let's see if we can find a... Three three is a good point. So twelve zero, ten little twelve, and three, one two, three one two three. All right. So domain is x less than or equal to twelve. And the range is y greater than or equal to zero. All right, go ahead and finish up that. All right, let's take a look at the next page. B, describe how you can use the transformation function form to determine the equation of the new functions. A reflection across x equals c means that the original b value is multiplied by negative 1. C. How did the domain of each transformation function change as a result of reflection across x equals c? The domain of each transform function became the opposite of what it was before. The domain was x greater than equal to the number. The reflection caused the domain to become x less than equal to the number. All right. Suppose the students wanted to reflect the three new ways, g of x, h of x, and k of x, across the line y equals 0. 3. Consider the equations for the reflection functions. A. Describe how you can use the transformation function to form a different the equation of the reflected functions. I can multiply the a value by negative 1 in each function in the equation. This would reflect each curve across the y equals 0. B. Write three new functions using transformational form to represent each function of f of x, g of x, h of x, and k of x. Then each term in terms of x. Finally, write the domain and range of the transformation function. All right, so f prime of x equals negative f of x, which equals negative square root of x. So let's go ahead and graph that. Okay, so we have our domain is greater than or equal to 0, and our range is y less than or equal to 0. So our domain is x greater than or equal to 0, and our range is y less than or equal to 0. All right, let's take a look at negative of x minus 4. All right, our domain is x greater than or equal to 4, y less than or equal to 0. All right, let's take a look at negative square root of x minus 8. So our domain is x greater than or equal to 8, y less than or equal to 0. And so our domain is x greater than or equal to 12, y less than or equal to 0. All right, go ahead and finish that up. All right, let's take a look at the next page. All right, go ahead and mark this page out. All right, 
In any graphic design programs, a trace path can be created, trace path in an invisible line or curve that acts as a baseline of text that is added to the design. When they insert text on the trace path, the text follows the line of curve. Six. The R students are experimenting with different radical function graphs to use as trace paths for the surfing school's name, Radical Surfing School. They have narrowed their trace paths down to two choices. The graphs of the functions are shown, h of x and j of x. Use technology to sketch the graph of the function, the keyword of x, and list its domain and range and x intercepts of the y intercept. So, And I have negative 8, negative 1, 0, 1, 8. So let's go and use those numbers to plug into our cube root. So that's cube root of negative 8, which equals negative 2. Cube root of negative 1 equals negative 1. Cube root of 0 equals 0. Cube root of 1 equals 1. And the cube root of 8 equals 2. So let's go ahead and graph those points on our table. So negative 8, negative 2 is about right here. You have to approximate. Negative 1, negative 1 is about right here. Oop. Right here. 0, 0, 1, 1, and 8, 2. Go and finish up the graph. Now, the domain of range of every cube root function is always from negative infinity to positive infinity, negative infinity to positive infinity. So the domain is negative infinity, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to infinity. And the range is the same thing. Negative infinity, less than or equal to y, less than or equal to infinity. The x and y intercepts are both 0, 0. All right, go ahead and finish it up. Right, let's take a look at the next page. B. Compare and contrast the graphs of the function h of x and j of x in their equations. What do you notice? The functions are cube root functions. The function j of x has an a value of 2 and a c value of 1. The function h of x has a b value of 2 and a curve c value of 1. Both graphs have the same x-intercept but different y-intercepts. C. Compare the effects of increasing the a value with increasing the b value in a radical function. What do you notice? Increasing the a value in a radical function stretches the graph vertically. Increasing the b value in a radical function stretches the graph horizontally. D. State the domain of each transform function. h of x equals a cube root of 2 parentheses x minus 1. The domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. And the range is from negative infinity to positive infinity. J of x equals 2 cube root of x minus 1. The domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. And the range is from negative infinity to positive infinity. All right, go ahead and finish it up. Mark out number 7. And let's take a look at the next page. All right, mark this page out. Let's take a look at the next page. Go ahead and mark that out. The student works 1A and 1B. And one of the things you might do to help yourself out is color coordinate the graphs.
All right. Go ahead and mark out number two. Let's take a look at the next page. The student works 1A, 1B, 1A, 1B, 1C, 2, 3, and 4. All right. Go ahead and start working on your assignment and have a wonderful Wildcat day.